Hey everybody, welcome to the shop. Saturday night. I know I've been doing a lot of coffee videos lately, man, but you know I have to try to step my game up. Rob and Steve, they got the cool stuff, and I was like, you know, man, I'm gonna just go ahead and, and push right in there and see what I can do. So so I got this today, man. It's a Vivat Chef coffee grinder. So we're going to see about grinding some coffee. I'm going to open it up right here. And our instructions. <clears throat> this is pretty cool. It comes with a little case, man. So, you know, I want to travel it with me. I throw everything in this bag. And uh, here is the grinder. And here's the top to it. Let's see, put that up here out of the way. And uh, I guess you just put your beans right in the top. And this just fits right down over the top of it. Just sits on it and you grind it. And you can set, uh, go to one for real fine coffee or you can go to six for coarse. I figured whenever I was thinking about these is, for using a percolator, man, I could grind it coarse on six, and maybe I wouldn't have as much, uh, you know, coffee grounds come through. But I'm not going to perk a whole pot of coffee tonight, so you know I'm going to I'm going to back it over to about three, and uh, we're going to try it out right here with me. It's the first time I've ever ground any coffee in my life, and uh, what's really cool is. Uh, Steve, I, I got this. It's a Stump Town Coffee Roasters Holler Mountain. And it's uh, from Portland, Oregon. And I think Steve's in Oregon. So it's coffee from where he's from. But it's a creamy and caramel. And my friend uh, Jason at work, now he's a big uh, coffee guy. And... He says that I've messed up by getting flavored coffee. That I've messed up the flavor. Well, you know, if I'm going to, in, in all fairness, he may be right, whatever. But I'm going to uh, try it without no creamer first. First taste will be no creamer. And say, I'm going to see what the actual flavor of the coffee is. I'm, uh, I was raised with creamer. And I like it, you know. But we're going to, for a fair shake on this coffee, and see what it truly tastes like, we will uh, drink it black. Unless we don't like it, then we're going to add some creamer. It looks like I'm going to have to uh, cut this. Let me get my knife right here. Yep, whole beans. Ain't never bought coffee like this before. It just smells like coffee to me. It actually smells strong. So I'm gonna just uh, pour it down in here. Probably a little more. I'm going to say that looks <clears throat> about right. Not too full, but, you know, I believe that's, that's going to do it. Fold this over. Give it a spill back that way. <clears throat> Got our bottom on. Put this in. And since I'm, I'm going to be doing a pour over, know if maybe I should I'm gonna do it on about three so let's see what happens let me tilt you up here and see how hard this is going to actually be here we go all right really ain't 
feel hard at all. some in the bottom there. That may be about it. Take our top off. Yep. No beans in there. Just going to tap it down a little bit. Spin this off. There's our coffin. All right. Put the whole thing in there. That's more than I had last time. Set this over here out of the way. <clears throat> I'm going to go ahead and use the uh, MSR wind burner. amount probably enough for that I tell you what uh, we'll be right back and uh, when the coffee's boiling and We'll get to it. I tell you, CMSR wind burner is amazing how quick it boils coffee or boils water at the top. I mean, I just did cut the camera off, man. It's already rolling. It's crazy. Let's go ahead and cut it down. Here we go. Back to that. You can see how much I put in. You know, just want, I, I filled it up, I ground it, and that's what I come back with. So let's see what happens. Or slow. Let it drip down through. It smells pretty good. I really like this uh, GSI Drop a Drip. 
to me it's real convenient you know like i say i didn't want to do a whole big uh perk pot tonight you know just me out here right now yeah you know, see what this is all about I'm just sort of letting it slow drain. So maybe I get more flavor, you know, get all them flavors instead of just rushing it so much. Seems like it's taking me longer. And it is, you know, I'm, I'm trying to, to really let it get the flavors. Take its time, get the good flavor out of it. There's still liquid on top of the coffee. It's, not, it's draining real slow. Let's see. That's all the water we got. It don't just rush through. Still a little drip. <clears throat> well, shake it a little bit. to the trash can. <clears throat> and as promised, I'm going to actually taste this with no creamer and we're going to give the coffee itself a fair shake. So hot. It's not a. Uh, it's not overly bitter. really pretty mild it's a pretty mellow blend Portland Oregon coffee this coffee is actually 
I would, for lack of a better term, call it a little sweet. Uh, my friend Jason, I drunk, he had some, uh, Ethiopian coffee, and it was weird, it was real bitter, and then it had this taste on the back end of it sometimes, depending, every taste you took was different. This ain't near as bitter, and I didn't really care for the bitterness. Pretty good. That's, uh, Stumptown Holler Mountain Coffee. It's pretty good. Pretty good. This cup goes out to everybody. You know, uh, should say it goes out to Steve and Rob again, but I always toast them guys. You know, they're always in the loop, but they inspired me to get a grinder. So, all right, man. Uh, I hope everybody enjoyed the video and uh, checking out the grinder. It's pretty cool. I like the way I can put it in the little bag. You know, I can take it right with me pretty quick. And uh, that's what I liked about Steve's grinder. He had a, uh, it was a GSI, I believe, grinder. And it was pretty cool for camping and stuff. But this one, I didn't want to get the same one. That was Steve's, you know. But this one right here, I like it. I, li I like it. I only used it the one time, but it was easy to use. Makes about a cup of coffee. Everything's cool. All right, man. Until next time, everybody take care.